everyone. So I am here um, finally to make an update on Kaylin. I have a lot more videos to come. I have a lot more updates to do. Um, but this is for Kaylin. Um, this is Kaylin at four and a half months. Um, can you not stick out your tongue? Hey. We are just having a lazy day at home today. And um, yeah, so I just I promised that I would do beta this month. So I'm going to do beta. Um, anyways, okay, so Kaylin is four and a half months. She will turn five months on, um, let's see, April 18th. So she is growing up. She is getting so big. I forgot how fast they grow up. I mean, I knew how fast they grew up because of, you know, Adriana will turn five in May, which is just crazy. But I just, you know, I forgot how fast they grew up as a baby. So, but anyways, yes, this is Kaylin, and um, she is just doing so good and just excelling. Um, she can kind of sit up by herself. Um, she can sit up mostly with me. Um, she just gets so excited, and so she'll start to move, and then she'll just fall. So, um, but yeah, she's doing that. Um, she hates tummy time with a passion. She hates it so much. Um, she can lift her head up really good. She can roll over, but she hates tummy time. And a lot of the time she will just lay there and she will put her face into the ground and just cry. And she will just make noises and almost like she's screaming and complaining that she hates being on her stomach. So, um, yeah, she does not like it one bit. Um, she can roll over from belly to back. Um, she has roll rolled over from back to belly, but she's only done it on rare occasions. Um, it's pretty much like when she wants to do it, that's when she's going to do it. You know, it's like some days she can just roll over from her belly to her back just constantly over and over and over again. Um, some days she refuses to do it. So it's pretty much like on her own time is what she wants to do things. So, um, but she's getting so big. She um, hasn't had her four month appointment yet. We are actually, it's supposed to be next week. So, um, yeah, but this is her. She is she is so big it was so weird because adriana was such she, she i mean she was just tiny she was just small um you know it's like i always had trouble finding clothes that fit her because she was just so tiny you know pants would have never fit her it was it was just horrible um i mean she's finally filling out now but kaylin on the other hand kaylin can fit into um a lot of six to nine month clothes, even some nine to 12 month, uh, 12 month. We went to children's place and we got her some clothes and she, her shorts are I think nine to 12 months and they fit her perfect, especially around the waist. Um, and some shirts are nine to 12. So it's, I mean, it's crazy how different they are. Um, but she is actually getting, you probably can't tell on here, but it's almost like a reddish tint. Casey is I mean, a lot Scottish, so I think that's where she gets it from. And her eyes, I don't know if you can see her eyes. Can you see her eyes? Kaylin. Oh, who is that? Who is that? <laughs> yeah, her eyes are very blue, so I don't think they're going to change. Um, Adriana's changed, you know, they started getting lighter, and then they kind of changed to kind of like a green, gray, um, blue. So, I mean, they're kind of like, I mean, it's a hazel is what it is, but, um, I think Kaylin's are going to stay blue. Um, let's see what else. Her weight is from what I've figured out. I, I mean, I think it's like 18 and a half, 19, almost 20 pounds is what it is. Um, it's almost like depending on the day is what it is. But, uh, so I'm going to say between 18 and a half and 20 pounds is what she is. Um, she is very tall, um, but she is just so funny. Um, she's not really on a schedule. I mean, she goes to bed. It, it, it's going to depend. Um, she goes to bed about 930, between 930 and 1130. I know that's like a wide range, but that's just about how it is and how the day goes. Um, all depending on how her naps go. Sometimes she can take a couple little naps and it's like 10, 15 minutes. It's like once she falls asleep and then she wakes up and she doesn't see that I'm there, it's all over with. There's no more nap and she ain't going back to sleep. Um, but some days, I mean, she, she's just exhausted. She can take like an hour and a half nap. So, um, yeah, we do co-sleep. So she does sleep with us and she has been doing that since she was born. Um, we've tried to put her in her crib and it just does not work out. I mean, it's pretty much like 
she will wake up and she will see if I'm there. If I'm not there, she's awake. So it's like she's constantly seeing if I'm there or not. When she's in a crib and she sees that I'm not there, it, it, it's all over with. It doesn't work out that way. So for my sake and for her sake on getting sleep, she just sleeps with us. Um, let's see what else. Feeding. She is doing good with feeding. She is, um, she eats the Similac Advanced, um, the blue one, but she only eats the pre-made, like the pre, um, the, the liquid one that comes in the little container. Um, that's the only kind she will eat. She will not eat powder. Um, she just won't. So I almost like think that's why she's, you know, she's a little bit, you know, gained a little bit more weight. Um, but I mean, I think that's why it's just, it's got more nutrients in it. Um, it's richer. So it's not like it's going to get watered down like powder would if you put more water in it. Um, I think it's better than powder. That's just me. Um, it's more expensive, but she takes it and you know what? I'm perfectly fine with that. Um, as I said, she's four and a half months. She has been eating baby food since she was three months old. Um, we tried cereal. She kind of is okay with it. I think it's just, it was so bland and didn't really have a taste and that's why. So I was waiting till she had eaten like bananas or apples. Um, she finally ate bananas and she's fine with them. So I got some oatmeal with bananas that I think I'm going to start feeding to her in the mornings. Um, she eats baby food once to twice a day. It all depends on how the day is going and how busy we are. Um, but usually it'll be around 1.30 um, that she'll eat and then again at 7.30. Um, and we get the plum pouches, um, the organic ones. And she has had, let's see, what have you had? She's had peas and sweet potatoes, squash, um, and bananas. I think that's all we've tried so far. I'm terrified, I'm going to tell you, I am terrified to try carrots, only because Casey is severely allergic to carrots, and it scares me to death to try carrots. I know I'm supposed to, but it scares me to death to try them, so I just haven't tried them yet. Uh, we haven't tried green beans. I can't find green beans in the plum pouches. I don't know if they're, I mean, I've noticed they're different at different stores, um, but I don't know. They work best for us. I like how, you know, it doesn't really get contaminated like the baby food. Um, and you can pretty much squirt it out onto the little um, spoons that attach to the pouch. So um, she usually eats one of those at each feeding, um, sometimes a little less. But it's usually uh, between two and a half to three ounces. Three ounces the package. So um, she's just doing so good. She is talking a lot. She does say mama, um, especially when she gets upset and she's tired, that's when she especially says it. Um, she can say hi. It's not like on cue, but she can say it. You know, I keep on telling people, oh, they're like, oh, no way she can say it. She can't, and I need to record it one day. Um, when we say I love you and she says it, it sounds just like it. But it's always like whenever I try to record it, she never wants to say it. She just looks at me with a blank stare like, really, are you gonna record me? I'm not gonna say it with you recording me. So, um, yeah. But she is just doing so good. She's getting so big. Are we getting big? We're getting big. Yeah. Um, what else? But she is just, I mean, she's so vocal. She is just so funny. She will just laugh. Um, but she is such a good baby. She cries sometimes. She actually cried at the restaurant the other night. And that was like the first time she's ever cried at a restaurant. Um... But yeah, um, let me see. Is there anything else that we can think of for Miss Kaylin? Is there anything else? Hmm. I don't think I can think of anything else right now. Um, let's see. I guess I'll just do like a quick uh, four-month postpartum. Um, I know I've done my, some of my weight loss things, but I'll just do a quick four-month postpartum. Um, I mean, everything's going well. Um, it's a lot better and I, I I don't know it's easier this time around with the second pregnancy than it was with my first pregnancy um, I've dropped all my baby weight I am past my baby weight but that's also because of the um, MCE that I'm taking which I am still taking and it's going fabulous um, my stomach is nearly flat I mean I just have a little bit to you know tone up and tighten up so I am I don't know I don't know how much farther I am to my goal weight but um, after that, I think I'm going to start toning up and working out and getting all that situated. So, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. 
My periods are pretty much back to normal. Um, I mean, somewhat. It's like they can go between 28 and 38 days, which they kind of did that before. Um, but that's about, on average, what they're doing. I think I've had three cycles now. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I don't know if there's anything else that has really gone on. Um, I still have the occasional spasms in my back and down my legs. Um, but, I mean, that happened with the first time that I happened to, had an epidural, and it's going to happen this time. I'm more sensitive this time. I think it's only because he poked me twice, and he didn't even get it in. And then the third time, he finally got it in. So I'm just very sensitive on my back in that area where he put it in. Um, let's see, as you can tell, she is squirmy and we squirm a lot and we squirm whenever we eat and we think we have to watch TV when we eat. So yeah, we think we have to watch TV. You can kind of see her red hair, I think right here, but it's just like total opposite of Adriana. Kaylin is very fair skinned and, um, yeah, she's just so fair skinned and she's very sensitive skin too. Um, I've noticed some lotions she can't even use, so. Um, let me think if there's anything else. I don't think there's anything else right now. Um, I know I had talked about I was going to cloth diaper and uh, I had a stash and I bought them and we tried them and I don't know, it just wasn't working for her. I don't, she just did not like it. Um, so I sold them and we just are back to using pampers. Um, I would have loved to cloth diaper, but it just wasn't working. And for some reason, I don't know, but I couldn't. Yes. Yeah, hold on. No. And hold on for one second. And for some reason, I couldn't. It's like I would put clothes on her, and they wouldn't fit right, of course, because the cloth diapers were too bulky. So, um, talking about bulky, I need to go change the diaper because we went to the bathroom. Let's see. Is there anything else we need to talk about? I don't think there's anything else. Um... I'll do another small update after we take her to the doctor. I need to make an appointment for probably next week. Um, but yeah, Miss Kaylin is doing good. She is doing good. So I'm going to try to add a um, clip of her at the end of this. Uh, just some, you know, her and her jumper or something like that. I'll find something to add to it. Um, but yeah, so, um, yep. Is there anything else we should say? You any, anything you want to say? Is there anything you want to see? Oh, can you see yourself? Oh, say hi, pretty baby. Can you say hi? Hi. Oh, say hi. Hi. No, you're not going to say hi? No? Okay. Anyways, I guess I will talk to you later. Um, yay for day one of Veda. I am finally doing it, and hopefully I can keep up with it. Um. If there's any videos y'all want me to do, I have a list of some things I want to do, but if there's anything y'all want me to do, just let me know, and I will talk to y'all later. All right, bye.